Imagine that you somehow go back in time to spend a year or so with the Apostle Paul on his missionary journeys. And you come to a Roman city where Paul eventually finds himself in front of a crowd. And they've heard about this really passionate man who seems to be extremely concerned about something and who's been saying some strange things that they've never heard before. And they're all eager to hear what in the world is this all about? And so Paul gets up in front of them and he pulls the sleeves of his garment up and he stretches out his hand, motioning for the crowd to listen. What is about to come out of his mouth? What what, what do you think? What, What is the basic message that Paul is about to preach to them? What will it focus on? What will be the main point or some of the big ideas that he's going to want to be sure to get across to these people. Well, if you are of the theological persuasion that I used to embrace, you might expect Paul's message to the crowd and to the rest of the world to be focused on how God has provided a solution to sin through the penal substitution and imputed righteousness of Christ. You might expect to hear about justification by faith alone apart from any obedience to God, that our righteous deeds are filthy rags in God's eyes, and that we must not put any hope in in what we do, even though obedience is, is the necessary evidence of salvation. Maybe you would expect to hear Paul talk about the five solas, although he obviously wouldn't use that terminology, but he'd be calling his listeners to be saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in the finished work of Christ alone. Maybe you would expect to hear Paul explain to the crowd that on the day of judgment, God is going to ask us all a question. Why should I let you into my kingdom? And that we are all supposed to answer, only because of the finished work of Christ on the cross and not because of anything I did. Well, if that is the sort of message that you would expect to hear from Paul, then I think you would be in for a real shock. You would be very surprised if you could go back and spend some time with him as he journeyed around the Roman Empire. The message that you would actually hear is one that would shake most Christians today to the core, Protestant, Catholic, Orthodox, or something else. It's a message that turned my whole world on its head about six years ago, after I had spent 14 years in various conservative churches. The message that we are used to hearing today tends to produce a Christianity that is marked more by laxity and hypocrisy than by transforming power. Paul's message produced men and women like Timothy and Phoebe. It produced good soldiers of Jesus Christ who turn their back on the distractions of this world and give their whole lives to serving Jesus, being careful to obey whatever he commanded. Why? was Paul's message so much more effective than ours? Well, to find out, please read the book of Acts and look carefully at what Paul actually says. Look at what he focused on and what he talked about the most. Look at how he would summarize his message to the world and think about the implications of what he actually says. Additionally, please check out the video that's on the screen for a more in-depth discussion of that radical, life-changing message and why it was so powerful. So many evangelicals are so sure that they know what Paul preached, but I'm telling you, there's a very good chance that you don't know his message nearly as well as you think you do.